Hello, my name is Stephen Bronner, and I'm the co-director of the International Council for Diplomacy and Dialogue. I wanted to uh, send greetings and wishes of, of, for solidarity to uh, the brave protesters in Iran, and particularly the, uh, the women who have st stood up for themselves in a quite remarkable way. It's often uh, women, of course, who have uh, stood at the forefront of human rights struggles. That was, uh, uh, that has often been the case. Uh, and it certainly was the case for myself. We, uh, my organization wor has worked with the um, uh, Women's League for Peace and Freedom in uh, Iraq to try and develop uh, peace strategies. But uh, in Iran, of course, the situation is somewhat different. It seems that uh, the regime itself is trembling, and this creates memories, at least for me, of the Green Revolution. And perhaps it's worth thinking about one or two uh, problems that emerged during the Green Revolution. The first is with leadership and the way it uh, was back then. Uh, it seemed that most of the leaders in some way or another were connected with the uh, regime. And this created an uncertainty with regard to the goals of the movement. I hope that the goals be, uh, are clear in this one with regard to do, you want, uh, do the protesters want to literally engage in regime change? Do they want a different uh, electoral arrangement? Or do they uh, simply want a situation in which women's rights uh, achieve new respect and are uh, granted by the regime? That decision is of great importance and because it's going to define to a very large degree what tactics are employed. Uh, one can't ac account for the regime um, showing mercy. That's already become uh, clear. And uh, I think that that is the product of the, uh, shall we say, the religious zealotry of not only of the revolutionary guards, guards, but of the regime itself. I think we have to face the fact that a real republic is always secular. It always allows for free elections. It always allows for, or it always rejects the uh, possibilities or the uh, temptation of censorship. And it is clear about its uh, roots in uh, the Enlightenment, of which Iran has its own and uh, of which it can be very proud. Um, in this regard, I might add that I actually wrote a book on the Enlightenment. It's called Reclaiming the Enlightenment, which appeared in Farsi translation. And um, it's hard for me to understand actually how it escaped the censors, but it did. And it's, uh, it highlights the need for uh, moving beyond theocracy. Um, and that, of course, is what the uh, young women in the streets and their supporters are, uh, are battling. And I think that has to be said clearly. The, I, I've been to Iran two or three times, and uh, once with, uh, I think twice with my wife. And what was very interesting was we were in the plane and uh, with uh, countless other women, some Iranian, some uh, non-Iranian. Uh, we entered Iranian airspace. We were about to land. Suddenly, all the women in the plane covered their hair. Um, and then we landed. Uh, when we left Iran, as soon as we were in the plane, 
every, uh, all the women took off their, their head coverings. And here we have to, uh, I think, be clear. I think this is a very simple matter, uh, which can be overcomplicated uh, by many academics. Whether a woman wears a head uh, covering or doesn't wear a head covering, that's her choice. That has to be her choice in a, uh, in a republic. Um, only in a theocracy is it not her choice. And again, this makes clear what it is that has to be battled uh, or has to be confronted. So, for uh, given this and given uh, how the women struggle in some way speaks to the need for a republic and the need for the uh, liberal and a commitment to the liberal rule of law, which guarantees the sanctity of the individual and allows him or her to do anything which is not explicitly prohibited by the law. Um, well, to that extent, um, the purpose of the movement is fairly clear. Um, it's going to be up to this movement with women in the forefront to exert their power, their power to strengthen the liberal rule of law, strengthen the, uh, uh, the traditions of enlightenment and secularism, and above all, of course, strengthen the message of democracy. Thank you, and uh, for the International Council for Diplomacy and uh, Dialogue, I wish these. Uh, I wish all of you good luck and uh, Godspeed. Until then, that is to say, uh, until you're free to uh, act and choose as you wish. I bid you goodbye.